people often romanticize time travel to get a second chance. Seems so easy. Forgive me, Samantha. Please. You gotta help me. Just take a deep breath. It's going to be okay. I promise. Excuse us. Of course. Who are you? Hello, Maya. I'm here to investigate the incident tonight. You're with the police? Uh, no, the situation will be handled internally. A murderer breaks into my building and tries to kill me, only to be shot dead at my doorstep and no police. Well, that's not true at all. The man that attacked you is not dead. What are you talking about? It's been an eventful night. You must be mistaken. I just came from the hospital, and the doctors have stabilized him. He will be arrested once he's been released. Now, I'm going to need to ask you some questions, and I need you to be honest with me. I am here to figure out why this has happened and to secure your safety and the safety of everyone at this facility. Understand? Question. Have you seen this man before today? Samantha. No. Good. Second question. 
What did he say to you? Who said he said anything to me? Let's make one thing perfectly clear. I know everything about this place. Every crack. Every secret. Now, I am here looking out for everyone's best interest. So you would do well not to lie to me again. What did this man say to you before my team saved your life? Let's go. I just really need your help. This is how we get caught. You're too impulsive. Says the guy who's asking me to steal for him. Besides, when I tell you what happened to me tonight. Just give me two minutes. I promise you'll want to hear this. Two minutes? And you're gone. <laughs> Certainly, your records have been doctored. Do you see the name Samantha anywhere? Just once, Samantha Reed, born October 15, 2015, at 12.03 a.m., Denver, Colorado. And that's as far as they got. Must have been an autosave file they missed when they wiped the records. My name's Samantha? Does it say anything about how I got to St. George's? There's definitely a gap in your gene line. No mother on record. This 
could be your father. Wait. That's the guy. Hey, what's up, Stumbles? Have we met? Are you kidding? We hung out all day. Stole me money, too. Though, since you're still here, I'm assuming the surprise is it went well. What? With your dad. You mean Barry? Oh? Uh, Montgomery? Yeah. You went well? Yeah, I guess. Um, where does he live? <laughs> so you're clumsy and forgetful now. Would you just tell me where he lives, please? Yeah, all right, uh, it's around the corner, last house on the hill. I don't work for... Took you long enough to find me. Wait, what? Tell them this is the last time they'll be able to track me down. No, I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I just... I, I want to talk to you for a moment. Just... It, it's about the, the resistance. Oh, the resistance. going on Sid what tell me what's going on okay this isn't really an orphanage it's a facade a fake a better word to describe it would be a farm a farm this whole place is owned operated and populated by a secret branch of the Majora Corporation called CID now, Sid is in charge of the regulation and control of time travel. Yeah. 
So you're telling me there's a secret organization of time cops who are policing time travel? Sid is afraid of what might happen if somebody changes the past, so they police it. Everybody in this place is here because Sid put them here. So my parents, they were killed by Sid? At least your father wasn't. Sid doesn't generally kill. They sort of reconstitute. Wipe your memories and replace them with new ones, or send you to some research facility in the middle of nowhere until they can figure out what to do with you. So you're saying that Sid was behind my father trying to assassinate me tonight? Likely, yes. And you didn't tell me this because? Because it's not for you to know. It's not for anyone to know. So we're all just part of some stupid experiment. Chaos theory is just a theory. Well, look, this is a lot bigger than just you. Just forget about it. This girl was harassing me and trespassing on my property, all right? She was harassing you, huh? Stay right there, honey. I saw the whole thing. I'm calling my sheriff. No, no. No, don't do that. This is bullshit, all right? She, she ran right out in front of me. This is a crock of shit. You're an idiot, you know that? She's trespassing and I get arrested? This is bullshit! You sure you don't want to press charges? No, it was just a misunderstanding. Please don't do that. Well, tell you the truth, this is not the first run-in we've had with him. We're gonna hold on to him for a while. At least till he cools off. Get home safe, miss. She's not gonna press charges. We'll just hold him for the night. Theory says that if I were to go back in time and step on a butterfly, then the whole world could explode or whatever. But the Novikov self consistency principle says that whatever you do in the past, you've already done. But how can Sid know which is right? You've been studying the material, I see. So they must be using the Eli gas as some type of molecule accelerator. You're building a time machine. And this is why you shouldn't know these things. You're too damn smart. That's it. You can send me back in time and I can find my parents and figure out why I'm in this shithole. No, we're not doing that. So you do have a time machine? It doesn't matter. Even if we could safely land you in the past, to what point? We have nothing to go on. And this whole situation has escalated because of your father. The man who tried to kill me tonight. Yes. Barry Reed is a very famous man in some circles. He used to work for Sid. He figured out what they were doing and started the movement against the organization almost 20 years ago. Did amazing things for the resistance. So what happened to him? Gone. Disappeared. Until tonight. Well then, maybe you can send me back and I can figure out why this happened. I can find him and maybe warn him about the future, or, or maybe he knows stuff about Sid and I can no, bring it back to you. I can't. Why can't you? If you were to go back and prevent him from attacking you tonight, then you never would have ended up here. Anything you do no, will no, create no. a paradox. No, 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 don't pull that paradox crap with me. You're the one who showed me the many worlds interpretation. It's just a theory. No, it's not just a theory. The answer is no. You should go. They'll notice you went blind any moment now. Wait.
Well, you can at least show me how it works. This is starting to become a routine stop for you, Eccles. Forget about it. Not dead. Time travel. This man. Your father. Forgive me. Sid put them here. Saved your life. The resistance. Oh, man. So when the Eloy gas is heated up, it accelerates the surrounding molecules, which then in turn creates... Micro black holes. I know. So I deconstruct the subject's DNA, map it, and then reconstruct it on the other side of the wormhole. So basically you break down the person before the wormhole can. Right. The rules. If I send someone back, their time moves in unison with ours, tick for talk. So how do you choose where to go? That's the easy part. Basic coordinates. And... What is that? This is the device. It's a watch. It's a lot more than that. I call it the VM. That's the time machine? Think of it more like a remote. This controls the time machine. Squeeze these spikes as hard as you can into your palm. The dial fills with blood and the device emits a short concussive blast that temporarily stops your heart. That, along with the cold water, will help to prevent any transmogrification that might take place during the bitemporal phylogenetic reconstruction process. I don't know if any of this works. Think about where you're going? What about how you're gonna get back, huh? What are you gonna do if somebody catches you? I was just gonna figure it out. I used the coordinates from your map. John, I need this. I need to try. All I'm asking for is one day. Don't you want to see if it works too? One day. I can't risk having somebody see you land, so I'm gonna put you down right on the outskirts of the town he was last seen in. He's probably living under an alias, so try Montgomery or Leonard. If you can't figure it out in one day, that's it. You can't go skipping around with this thing. Try to find out what you can, but don't tell them who you are. Try to make as little of an impression as possible. was devising a plan, a plan that could cripple Sid's infrastructure. But then, something happened. Something went wrong. He never used them. Get me those plans. Bury it where you land and I'll dig it up on the other side. 
We can finish what he started. We got another one? Find me that location. Narrowing it down now. Good news. Where is it? It's coming from... St. George. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? I'm just kidding. I saw what happened. Do you want to talk about it? No. Well, at least looks like you're feeling a little bit better. What? Your hand is better. No, it still hurts. Yeah, well, the other one is. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about. Can you just leave me alone? All right, seriously. What's going on? I don't know. Okay, whatever the joke is, I don't get it. Just leave me alone, okay? What? What the hell? You can't figure it out in a day. That's it. You can't go skipping around with this thing.
Nice trick, Sandy. Where did you send them, John? He talk? Not a word. Well, good news. We've got a target date. But there's no telling how accurate his machine was. Especially if he was really using a bathtub as an insulator. It was accurate. Tell me where they went. Vista, Colorado, 16 years ago. Get your team ready. We jump soon. Hi there. I am your daughter. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello? Hey, can I talk to one of you? Hey. Can I help you? I'm sorry, not you. You. Hey, what's going on? Uh, can I talk to you for a sec? Alone? Sure. How about over here? I don't know why I'm here. I just, um... I saw you and, um... Do we know each other? I guess we do now. <laughs> First up, my name's Tyler. And yours is? Oh, I'm Maya. Maya. Nice to meet you. Is there something I can do? No, I'm from out of town. Thanks. Oh, cool. Well, I can be your ambassador to the wonderful town of Vista, Colorado. Population, not very many. <laughs> what brings you here? I'm visiting someone. Family, I guess. I mean, I was visiting him. True. Barry? I don't know, Barry. Oh, um... He also goes by Montgomery. Well, that guy. You know him? Uh, not really. Mostly keeps to himself, not too active around here. You're related to how? He's my dad. But I, I don't think he wants to know, so. Since you're here today, you want to hang out? We can help you take your mind off things. No, sorry, I don't have time. Nah, oh, come on. Oh, 
Oh, um, I just hurt my hands when I was... I, I... I don't need to explain. Some people are just clumsier than others, I guess. I'm not clumsy. No, I'm not, I'm not judging. I call you Stumbles. Hey, what's up, Stumbles? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Come on. It's not just them. There's some girls coming, too. I'll introduce you to everybody. I don't know. Hey, come on, I, I promise it'll be fun. Okay. I guess I could use a break. Hey there. Tyler, I need your help. After that, it was like constant. Like, what's up, guys? This is Maya. She's new in town. What's going on? It's a race to the top. Loser fetches the booze. What? Straight to the top. Just stick with me. All right. Is everybody ready? You ready? On your marks. Get set. Unit 2 report. Potential target has been identified. Set! Hey! Location, north of town, Glacier Lake. Copy that. Think you can keep up? I win. Everybody, this is Maya. What can I say? I'm more of a lover than a fighter. Yeah, right. How do you cheat and lose? You definitely fed. No, I did last time. And you'll go again. No, screw that. Make the new girl do it. No, guys, come on. Yeah, why not? I'll Let's just... see what she's got. I'll go. No, I'll do it. See, there you go. Perfect. What is it? It's this place we stash our shit. And the alcohol. It's an old purple suitcase about a hundred yards that way. Okay, what's the big deal? A while back, a group of kids were missing in there. Some people think it's haunted or something. It's ghosts, man. No, I'm serious. I've seen it. You know, I'm not scared. How do I get there? What's this for? For the bears. <laughs> okay. Which way is it again? Shouldn't be that hard to find. Underneath the fallen tree. Shouldn't spot it right away. Uh, so grab as much as you can. After that, make sure to cover back up. The rule is we have to wait 10 minutes before we can come and get you. But we'll have someone waiting right at the tree line. In case you need help, just give us a holler and we'll be right there. Um, listen, if you. Don't want to do this, you don't have to. See you, Sam. Just fine. I 
eyes on target. Do I make a move? Do not engage. doing? I saw someone. What? Someone is here. What are you talking about? What are you doing here? Heard a lot of bangers. Want to make sure you're okay? I had things under control. Clearly. Look, everything's, everything's fine. There's no one here. It's a joke, we're just messing with you. At least you found her okay. No, it don't scare you. No, I saw someone. All right, okay. Help me grab these. Did you see him? No. Dylan, is that you? Stop messing around, man. It's not Dylan. Let's just get out of here. I told you someone was there. You were scared, huh? No, no, I protected you. Oh my god, the new girl made it back alive. <laughs> Did you see any ghosts? Nah, it was easy. So? It's the one in the middle. Would you think I wouldn't notice? Notice what? It's the same girl from St. George's. Yes. Why not give us that information? Because that information is above your rank. Fine. This is a good place to take her. Are we ready to make our move? No. We wait. You okay over there? Yeah. I've never had that much fun before. I like your friends. I like you too. I loved you actually. It's like a family. Yeah, it is. So, when do you leave? Hey, wait, stop. Can I maybe borrow $20? Uh, yeah, sure. Thanks. So, why can't you tell me where we're going? It's just something I have to do, okay? Yeah, but why? Because... I kind of already did. Anybody ever tell you you're kind of a strange girl? Okay, here it is. Here, quick, give me the shoes. Okay, that's it. You're just gonna leave all this here? I paid good money for this. I know it's weird. I'll make it up to you, okay? I promise. Right. Come on. Walk through the door. Wait, this isn't right. He didn't know me.
I need to get inside. Well, you know, lots of people would just knock in this situation. I can't. I have to get in without him seeing me. You want to break in? It's not breaking in. It's family. I need to know more about him before I can approach him. I don't think breaking him will make the best impression. Please, are you going to help me or not? That guy is crazy. I'm thinking not. Don't be scared. Just help me. Have a good night. now. I will find you. You listening? Huh? You goddamn bastard! Leave him out of there! You're not dead! What? Bullshit! Hello? Thank you. 
Samantha. Angelica, if she gets away, we can't let that happen. When they ask, this will be in my report. Fine, I'll go get her myself. Just stop. Just stop for one second, please. Angie, what's going on? I don't know. There's... There's something different about this op. This whole thing, it doesn't feel right. What are we doing here? This girl had a family. She's just trying to find them. How do we know what we're doing is even right? I mean, what if Sid is wrong about this whole thing? Do you really think what we've been doing is wrong? We're not the bad guy. We're not? How do you know they haven't done this to you? Listen. What if we just... What if we just let this one go? Sid will do anything to stop colliders. But should we? You should get some sleep. I need to figure this out. I just need a little more time. It's too risky. If Sid finds out, look, I don't want to lose you over this. It's time we take the girl now. One more day. I won't let anything get out of hand. Leo, please. Everything will be fine. Trust me.
Wait, please. Just talk to me for a second, okay? I'm not here to hurt you. Said the girl with a shotgun pointed at me. Okay, will you just talk to me, please? There's nothing you could say that I want to hear. So you've got about five seconds. Your daughter was born today at 12.03 a.m. Her name is Smith. Okay. Listen to you. I'm gonna fucking kill you. I just wanted to have to Don't say her name, don't even think it. I will kill every one of you that tries to get to them. Do you hear me? With every breath in my body, I will protect them from you. Do you hear me? <laughs> Sid, I know you do. You work for Sid, don't you? I know you do. You work for Sid. How do you know about Samantha? Tell me. No, please. Don't lie to me, goddammit. No, please. I am Samantha. I'm Samantha Reed, your daughter. The child you abandoned today grows up to turn into me. Why? Why couldn't you just be there for me? They had me living in some shithole St. George's all my life. How is that possible? I know you worked for Sid. So when I say I came back from the future to come and find you, you know it's possible. Samantha Reed is my granddaughter. My son, Roger, had, had a daughter last night. Your son? daughter's name is Samantha. So that means you're my grandfather. But if, but if you're Samantha, then, then, then why did you come here? You came and tried. You were the most recent family member attached to my records. You. You're the Clyder. God damn it. Clyder? Like my parents too, right? Have you noticed anyone following you? Anyone watching you since you got here? I'm, I'm new to this town. Everyone looks at me funny. Oh, shit. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't ask questions. Just listen. These guys are snatchers. If they catch you, they will wipe your memory and send you back to St. George's. They're here to stop you from changing your past. You should have never come here. You caused all of this. They're gonna take everyone because of you. Everyone you talked to, everyone you came in contact with, they're gonna make it so no one will ever know that you were even here. Take this. Get to them before Sid does. I'll draw these guys away. Once I'm gone, you need to find a way to warn them. Whatever it takes, you did this. So find a way to fix it. I didn't think I'd ever get a chance to meet you. You're more beautiful than I ever could imagine. I was just trying to protect you. Protect all of you. Get around back. You want me? I'm right here. Come and get me.
Hey there. Tyler, I need your help. Okay, whoa, whoa, what's going on? I don't have time to explain. I need you to drive me to the city. The city? It's getting kind of late. I know, I know, Tyler. I just need your help, okay? All right, okay, let me just get a jacket really quick. Let me hurry. Okay. Yeah. Sick rep? Oh, Leo's gone. Went in the woods after the girl. Is that it? And the old man got away. The girl is on the move with one of the locals. Come get me. We need to stop her. Copy. I'm sorry about the other night. Nah, you know, it's all right. I know it's hard when you're in a new place. No idea. So, will you please tell me what's going on? I'm not going anywhere until you tell me what's going on. Maya. I don't know. I don't know, okay? I think I'm being followed. Followed why? I think my family's in danger. From who? I can't tell you until we get closer. Okay, listen, whatever it is, I, I want to help. Okay, first off, my name isn't Maya. Okay, so you lied about your name. I lied about everything. The truth is, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. I mean, I know I wouldn't. Okay, well, how about you just let me decide that for myself, if you don't mind. from the future. <laughs> what? I knew you wouldn't believe me. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't think you were going to say that. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what? So so now some, some faceless evil corporation is after you for your time travel secrets. Is that what's going on? Basically... <laughs> They want to stop me from changing the future. Okay. Wow, this is... It's like I've read this in a comic book or something. This is incredible. So, who are we going to see? Or maybe I should ask when are we going? My parents. Oh, your parents from the past, right? Yes. Okay, so if you're being followed, why would you leave the bad guys right to your parents? I'm going to warn them. So you're going to show up on the front doorstep of your future, or past or whatever parents and, and tell them that story. Well, what would you do? Well, you know, first I would probably set my photon phaser to oh. kill. Okay. You know what? Fine. <laughs> Don't believe me. Can we go? Yeah. What the hell happened? He was ready for us. He got the jump on us. Of course he was ready. He's trained to be. Any word from Leo? I didn't mean to upset you. It's, it's just the way it sounds. I, I, 
Like, I, I don't know what's going on. And the truth is, I don't really care. Oh, oh alright, okay, so, so, so you're from the future. Fine. Yeah, you could be from the future or, or, or Mars, it, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that, is that you're here and, and that you're safe and that you'll stay. What, what are you doing? Hello? May I help you? Uh, uh, yes, um, are you Roger Reed? Um, yeah. Can I help you? You just had a baby girl last night, right? Well, my wife did most of the work, but yeah, I did. Uh, well, congratulations. Um, I'm from the hospital, uh, and you won a special prize. Hmm. I apologize for the unplanned visit. Um, may I come in uh, to talk to you about it? It's just a little cold. <laughs> it it'll only take a second. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess, yeah, sure, come on. Honey, there's a, uh, there's a girl here from the hospital. She says we've won something. Uh, come on in, sit down. What was your name again? Uh, Maya. My name's Maya. Honey, this is, uh, this is Maya. She's from St. Joseph's. Hello. You guys have a beautiful family. Oh, thank you. I'm Emma, and this is Samantha. This is Alpha calling to. Report to. Come in to. So do we proceed? as a nurse uh no um i'm in administration and they have you out working this late on a thursday i know um i i thought it was on the way home i just got lost i'm sorry for showing up so late you know i just didn't want to disappoint anyone but i wanted to come you know, i wanted to be the one to give you the big news it's been 45 minutes since you last checked in i'm well aware I'm just stating the standard SID protocols to abandon an operative if he deviates from his direct objective. I know the protocol. So we move without him. The target's confirmed inside. You don't have orders until I give them. Grab the kid first, quietly, and bring him back here. We don't want to tip her off. Then we will take the house. out of the vehicle. Okay. Something wrong? Why don't you just step out of the vehicle? Oh, shit! No, she said she wanted lemonade with chocolate syrup in it. <laughs> what? I wanted something sour than sweet. Why is that so crazy? I mean, whatever gets you through it, right? <laughs> exactly. I'm the one doing all the work. All he had to do was watch. Which, to be fair, isn't easy. <laughs> you better go get that, because you know you're going to lose this one. Oh. 
No, don't go. What? Don't, don't answer it, please. Why? It's no problem. Oh, just be a minute. Just take me, okay? Is anybody listening? Hello? Good morning, Ms. Eccles. We're glad to hear you will finally be cooperating. Please. Just leave my friends alone, okay? I'll do whatever you want. Don't do this! I'm sorry, Maya. I'm afraid I can't do that. Where's my mother and father? Where's Tyler? You can't do this! We are putting them to the fullest possible use. No! Don't do this, okay? Okay? You got me. That's why you want it, right? I'll go back to St. George's! Why are you doing this to us? Excuse me? Why are you doing this? Don't you get it? That is what we do. This is the way it's always been done. We just make sure the cards fall where they're supposed to. We maintain this reality. Where's my family? Well, thanks to you, they all now happily work here. And they're none the wiser to this whole fiasco. I didn't mean to. I just wanted to find my family. Your family? They were never your family. You with your pissing and moaning. Poor me. I need to know why. Why doesn't anyone love me? You did this to us. Have you ever wanted to take something back? Something that you did a long time ago. Just dwell and dwell. If I had just done this one thing different, my entire life would be better. One decision can change everything about you. Or maybe it changes nothing at all. Just a continuous loop that you're forced to relive over and over again. Terrible and endless. No end. No way to stop it. Well, unfortunately, or well, fortunately, we make sure everything goes according to the plan. What if you already know the plan? Does that mean you can change it? What are you talking about?
We don't know all the effects of time travel. But we do know the side effects. You can't change the past, Samantha. Maybe.